Hello everyone, I'm General Valtiel, Valtiel and welcome to the next part of Soma. We shall continue our journey as we left off interrogating Mr. Wan to get his uh, security codes. Now let's find out where we shall use them. I think we're basically Simon, heading back up top. Yep. Wait, where did I put you down? Oh, in the main, yeah, I did put you down in the main area. Get to the sub! Let's get to the sub, Marine. Catherine. Couldn't we just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow? It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's impossible. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. That's... Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. I guess I've got to go down there. Whoa! <laughs> Shit. Ah. Gotta like activate that first. Not yet, there's something missing. Oh, shit. Ah. Sorry, guys. I knew I'd forget that. Ah well, first time for everything. Uh. 
Something is not powered. Gotta lower it that thing. Ooh. Is there anything else that I have to get up to? Oh, can I get on over top of this with the with the ladder? go that way. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. It won't let me take the ladder through here. Oh, that sucks. Oh! <laughs> that. That would probably help. Ah, there we go. Ready. I don't know, everything with dialed doesn't seem futuristic to me. Only it is, it's only a hundred years. <laughs> oh my god. The submarine was alive? All robots here are alive. Ah, this is open now. I don't know why. I guess that opens in an emergency. not nearly close enough.
In the hatch we go. Shit. Suicidal submarine. Here's the thing, I didn't pick her... Did I pick her back up? Yeah, I have her. Not, well, she can't tell me. She's off right now. Duh, she can't tell me anything. Uh. Straight ahead must be a good idea. More of WoW's creations coming up. Heal me. Uh. I have luck, Kathy, in anywhere? Yeah. was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way what? would be the Climber in Omicron. Oh. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's what? a prototype and everything. What? Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be?
started arc simulation. I want to see how it works. My decision. I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Dr. Catherine Chun. What's left? Apply interface module. Seal arc capsule. Ask permission from 4Q. Brief Ivashkin, Lindwall, Peterson, and Hill. Take shuttle to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber into the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet. Launch arc. It's there. Oh, it's not far now. They got Omicron and Tau. Damn it. Stop doing that. Arc Attitude Survey. The guest staff opinion, please fill out the short survey. I'd rather not. I'm pressed for time. photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. Hamatsu power suit. Proper usage. For the safety of you and your colleagues. 1. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. 2. Check the HPS for any visual damage. 3. Bearing with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. 4. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. 5. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. Six. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note, the HPSs are very heavy, and the suit will compensate you, and the suit will compensate. It will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. High pressure diving suits need to undergo a mandatory maintenance checkup before suiting up. Not doing so pulls you into a risk of oxygen poisoning, pulmonary edema, and death. You should buy Pathos 2 security. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity and PLO frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? I know you have a reader. Maybe Give it a try. Can you reach the on switch? Where is the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You 
seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind in a sound body. At least we know how to get on the Ark. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. using Linux. Light source. Okay. But we just need a light source. Turn that off. Light source. All right. How do I take the scene out? I want to take the forest scene out, but it's not letting me do that. Get an arc simulation going. Yeah, I'm trying, but... Too much memory. Thank you. 
Lake, okay. That's less, okay. Yes, got it. Ooh, that is a really cool puzzle. Why could I... See, I figured it out. I'm a little smarter than that. You, f you have to figure out what type of thing does what. Give me some credit. Next. Try looting at dummy scan. Shouldn't be that you difficult. You had to I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Better Ooh. not use real data. I don't want to repeat what we did to Brandon. Second that. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. We need to catch it while it's being loaded. There we go. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Can you forget to take her with you? I wonder. Not through there. Through here. Are you impressed, Noah? logic. I love games like these. I want to go in there. System error. Person. You see a person. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. Damn it, I didn't throw that right. Yeah, that's that's not heavy enough. This is like cardboard, that's not gonna do anything. Oh it does, it does work, cool. I 
to get close. There's something in here with me. Hey, it's one. There it is. Oh my god. Freaking necromorph. Come through here, can it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, fuck one. Please go away. that again. Acres, January 16th, 2104. Perry Acres, age 66, sex male. 
One of the worst cases I've seen, and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structure gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. It did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that the WoW is somehow able to change and rebuild the... Huh? Vanessa Hart, age 28, sex female. Hart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hyperthermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult co to corroborate her story as she's the only one to return. Catherine Chun, age 37, sex, female. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Stromlier demands another evaluation. Chun isn't obstinate or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She's a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. Guy Conrad, age 41, sex, male. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to pulp with a WREM maser. Following the Arc Nero scan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself to take his place on the Arc. These poor, poor people. Buddha can't help you now. God. Somebody exploded. Terry Akers, Chief Factor of Delta, first assessment. Early January 16, 2104. Reportedly found in his dive suit, unconscious, in the water. Akers is clearly been consuming large amounts. Difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of that, and if it somehow causes him to his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat overexposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think... I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this. What is this? Oh god. Remarkable connectivity, narrow patchwork. Meet downstairs. The shuttle. Delta summoner. 
acres, initially reconstructed on natural growth, symbiotic attempts. get rid of the creature now Acres is not alone, at least proxy creature. Check and seal doors, move downstairs, shuttle to Omicron. Checklist, survive the art project. Stop people from killing themselves. Send off C and the team. Keep people safe. Enjoy the rest of Armageddon. I'm Dunsky. Yeah. Oh 
Oh, geez. Okay. I guess that's a good place to stop there for this part. <sighs> We're going to give this another go in the next part. See you then.